believers learn this world over the moment you see an unfavorable situation in your life you know it is the devil because along with that situation will come the spirit of depression and the assignment of depression is to keep you silent listen to what i'm telling you i'm not a medical doctor i'm speaking as a man of god i know that depression has an assignment to keep you silent satan is the master of the flesh realm so this is how my life will be i thought this will work psalms 107 verse 2 these are the arsenals of victory psalms 107 please very quickly let the redeemed of the lord if they are truly the redeemed don't just think so don't just wish so say so let the lifted of the lord say so let the blessed of the lord say so are you learning now you return back and there is a medical report that is disturbing just when that is happening your child brings a result after spending so much on his school fees, you see an evil report. Are we together? The moment that is happening, you just hear that your investment has crashed. You're a politician. They told you, okay, this is supposed to be your position. You're a man of God. You come to church and it looks like everything is going down. That's not the time to be quiet. And that's not the time to attract sympathy. You are the first prophet of your destiny. Go and shut your door remove your ceo regalia put on that priestly robe shake up arakatosia someone blast in the spirit in one city i won't be silent in the name of jesus christ listen listen believers hear me hold on in the midst of your problems, beloved, do not allow your thoughts to become dirty. The moment your heart begins to drift away from God, then you're definitely drifting from the word of God. So it is important that you are intentional about meditating God's word and staying connected to God at every season of your life. So if this is what you are interested in, then stay connected to this channel and keep watching. Before we jump right into this video, I want to say a big thank you to my wonderful subscribers, returning subscribers. Thank you, beloved people, for always staying connected to this channel. I love and appreciate your support on this channel. You guys are the most valuable persons. I love you all. Now, without much ado, we're going to be talking about depression. Yes, you heard me. Depression. Beloved, depression are in many ways there are quite a number of times you get depressed about certain situation and, but when you come to the point where you are depressed in a way that it is affecting your thoughts it is affecting your actions and you find yourself in a very low season at every point as you journey through life then you are living in depression so today i'm going to be sharing with you how you can get out of that depression if you find yourself in this situation i just talked about so if this is what you are interested in then please like this video share with a friend or a loved one and let's get started now talking about depression i want you to know that depression is a fruit of something deeper yes that's why the bible says that we should guard our heart with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life you see your heart is so important as you journey through life and there's a possibility that your heart can easily drift away so when you carry so many heavy burdens in your heart you carry so many negative thoughts in your heart just know that beloved you are beginning to sow a seed which will later germinate as depression and you find yourself living in depression and that is why the scripture also says that whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are of good report those are the things that you should allow get into your spirit man or what that's actually important the things you listen to the things you hear it matters a lot as you journey through life so beloved i want you to know that in the midst of all of these there is someone who is bigger than everything that you feel now who is bigger than every situation that you feel at this moment 
So if you're living in depression right now, I want you to know that it's just a moment of your life and you don't have to allow it get into you that you begin to lose focus of what God's purpose is for your life. Get out of that depression. We're going to be using the acronym PRAY and that is position yourself. P stands for position yourself. You need to position yourself to only think of those things that are godly. Position yourself to learn to not just read the word of God. You need to learn to declare the word of God. That is intentionally speaking God's word out. You know, that helps us, you know, to say no to everything that troubles our mind. You might just mutter a few words and, you know, that's why it's very important when you have a negative thought like telling you you're going to die, telling you that you're not going to have food, you're not going to pay your children's school fees. It's absolutely important to declare God's word out. You see, God the Lord supplies all my needs according to your riches and glory. The Bible says, I shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Whatever it is that comes as a negative thought into you, spirit man i want you to always learn to vocalize it verbalize it loud and clear for the enemy to hear you don't just mutter the words because you know you just you have to be bold you have to speak it loudly it's important that you position yourself to always think of those things that are godly like i said and always allow those things that can only bring out positive results in your life so, beloved, whether it is a negative thought, whether it's a failed marriage, a failed relationship, whatever it is, I want you to know that everybody on planet Earth at some point in their life have experienced some foggy parts. And it is the decision they made at that season of their life that has brought them to where they are. If you have made a negative decision, if you have allowed it to eat deep into you and um, you find them being so distressed and living in depression but you will not give up i want you to know that you will tell yourself that you are not going to give up you won't allow that depression whatever it is is it that failed marriage failed relationship and a prayer that you feel is unanswered you won't allow it get into you. you need to get up and step out in faith and tell yourself that god has not given you the spirit of fear you need to tell yourself that you know, the Lord is with you and you will not be moved. Yes, you need to do that. So it is important as you journey through life to also be authentic. That is what A stands for. You know, when you're looking at the acronyms for pray, so A, you have to be authentic. You have to only speak those words that are authentic, those positive words. Those are the words that you need to really speak and be intentional about it. Then the next thing you should do as you journey through life to get off depression is you will ensure that you rely on God. Yes, you will ensure that you rely on God, not on man, not on anything. Some persons get into depression, probably they feel that an uncle, a family member has um, you know, promised to help them. And at some point, and they feel that the person changes his or her mind and they begin to get depressed, they begin to get worried you know anxiety setting in because they don't have they don't know the decision to take because they have put their hope in that person so you need to get to the point where in life that as you journey through life learn to rely on god if somebody says i will help you yeah just agree but just trust god all the way because it takes god to turn the heart of the person that's why the bible says that the heart of the king is in the hand of the lord so it takes the lord to touch that person or turn the heart of that person towards you to do you good so it is important that we learn to rely on god because those things can get us depressed just imagine that you have to pay your students school fees and your brother or sister or your an uncle and aunt have promised to do that and they're about to write exams and if they don't pay their fees they're sending them home and suddenly there is a change in a way it's a lot to cause anxiety it's a lot to cause so much fear and uh, trembling but it is important that against all odds we learn to rely on god because god is our helper there's a favorite song of mine which i titled which is titled ebenezer my help ebenezer eh? You are my help. That song is absolutely a reminder of that God is a very present help in time of need. So I love to sing that song a lot. There are times, in, you know, I just feel that, you know, I know, not like I feel. I know my help comes from the Lord because I will only look up to the hills where my help comes from. So I want to encourage you to also look up to the hills. If you're a Christian, your help comes from the Lord. Don't allow certain things in life get you depressed. Even if the plan of the enemy is to get you frustrated, you will not give him that chance. You need to stand on your ground and learn to rely on God 
as you journey through life. So having said that, I want you to know that one of the greatest ways to develop your joy and grow in peace in the midst of depression is for you to consistently speak God's word. That is the anchor for today's video, to learn to vocalize, verbalize God's word as you journey through life. And it will set your feet, you know, on the path to go. I've also realized that in the most foggy parts of your life, in the most foggy seasons of your life, that is when, you know, you are still to hear from God. Because sometimes we are so, so busy with life, the hustle and bustle of life, that we don't have time to take those quiet moments and hear what the Lord is saying. We don't have time to rest. We are stressed out. We don't have time to rest, which could, which could also lead to depression. So when you go through a very terrible seasons of your life and that makes you begin to relax, take some time to rest, and that way you get to hear God audibly because you have you know, let go of those busy hustle and bustle of life and you have made that decision to take that step of faith to listen to God, have some quiet time, which is very, very important. So beloved, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a like, share the video with a brother, a sister, a loved one, encourage somebody out there. The world is filled with so much distraction. A whole lot of depression out there for various reasons like I mentioned. But when it comes to the point where you are getting depressed, you, you get to the point where you're living in depression. No, no, it's a no, no for me. And you need to step up and get your feet back up again. So till I come your way in the next video, please be loved. Stay safe and stay blessed. God got your back. Ciao.